What's up, YouTube? Okay, so it's been a good weekend so far. Yesterday, I uh, got a good 50 miles or so uh, up on the road bike. Got about 5,000 feet of climbing, so all in all, really good day. Uh, today, we're working on some bike stuff. I uh, have to put the mountain bike back together. Had the fork and shock rebuilt, so it's been out of commission for a little bit, so putting that back together. So pretty happy that that'll be done soon. Um, but I was thinking about training and um, some things that I don't have to think about anymore in training. So what used to have to happen is you'd get the big list of Sufferfest videos and you'd have to try to pick which ones you wanted to do that day. Um, wanting to do a Sufferfest video while well, you know they're good for you and you don't always want to do one. Um, so I, I would get, I think if I look back at it, I would get into kind of a rut. I would pick my favorite three or four and I would do those over and over again. Um, I hated picking them and I would not pick like the sprinting ones or any of those just because I was being lazy. So. Um, Sufferfest has actually done a good job of making sure that you don't have to worry about that anymore. And you know what? Let's, um, let's jump in the computer and take a look. Okay, so we're back in the house. Um, let's jump in the computer and see how Sufferfest can help us out with uh, the choice of what ride should I do today. <laughs> so we can go in here, look at view training plans. Um, the way that I do it is I import the training plan into Training Peaks and then I let Training Peaks tell me what to do. Um, but there are other ways to do it if you don't have training peaks and I get not wanting to pay for that. Uh, you've got all of these PDFs here um, that you can go ahead and take a look at. Um, they've got them per discipline. So you've got cycle cross, XC mountain bike. Uh, I think the 10 week cross country intermediate plan is the one that I'm on right now. I think I have another three or four weeks for that. Um, so when we're done with that, I'll pick another one of these and, and, and go that way. But again, um, the other way to do it is actually through uh, training peaks. So if we go to learn more, um, it basically just tells you the instructions on, on how to do it. Um, I'm actually going to walk through this in Training Peaks. So let's go to um, the plans. So we can see all the plans here. Um, and then you just go ahead and pick the one you want. So like I said, I was doing the mountain bike um, XC race 10 week one. So they also have plans here that once you've gone through your 40p, you can look at VO2 as a weakness, sustained as a weakness. Um, so you can pick plans that will help build up the weaknesses based off of what you got on the 40p plan. Again, I did a, a 40p video where I walked you through all of the 40p. We got to look at the different uh, tests that you did and what uh, each of the dimensions meant. So if you haven't taken a look at that, uh, I'll post the link there and down in the comments. You can take a look at that. <clears throat> but yep, once you've done that, you've got, uh, you've got uh, workouts that will be targeted for that. So I think um, VO2 was a weakness for me. Here's a 10-week plan. What I'm going to do is say buy that. Um, you're not really buying it. It's it's free through um, through through Training Peaks and Sufferfest. So we'll say that I purchased that. Log in to Training Peaks, and then once you're in here, what you can do so you can see all the ones that are already here for the day, um, for for my days, for my schedule, um, based off of putting that in there. So I really don't have to think about what I'm picking for Sufferfest. I just get to do what it tells me to do. But if we come up here to the training plan library, we can see that the intermediate cycling for riders with VO2 as a weakness is right there. Um, I can select when I want to start it and hit apply and it'll go ahead and populate that. I'm not going to do that right now because we're going to wait until this next plan is over, but, um, but that's it. So <clears throat> those are the ways that, um, that Sufferfest can help you out. So you don't have to pick the, uh, the workout. You don't fall into those pitfalls of not getting enough rest or not picking the right workout. Sufferfest will do it for you. Um, download the PDFs, follow those plans. Um, when I'm following the plan, I don't always do the Sufferfest workout. It tells me to that day. Sometimes I go outside and I, I try to put some flexibility in it. But I love that I don't have to worry about what video to pick. I just need to open up Training Peaks or I need to flip open the page in the PDF if that's what you're doing. And you know what workout you're supposed to do um, and you're good to go. I don't have a coach. This is the closest I get to a coach. Um, so I appreciate it being there. They've got other things in the app too. I think I've said this before. They've got yoga um, for some flexibility, which is important. I think we all know by now. Um, mental training and, and other good stuff like that. So totally worth um, the $10 a month subscription fee. I think that'll be the last of the Sufferfest series for a while. I want to get outside. I want to get in the dirt. I want to show you some of the stuff around here. Um, so look forward to that. Again, if you liked it, uh, give it a like. Subscribe. That's super helpful. Comment. I love the comments. I love being able to talk to you guys and see what you're doing. Um, so hit me up, please. 
and uh, and follow me on the socials. It's uh, at Eric P. Hansen on Twitter and Instagram. Until then, we'll see you on the bike.